Hello there, and welcome uh, back to the workshop here of Howard Piano Industries. I'm Steve Howard, and we're going to be showing you today another video on um, piano grand piano regulating. Uh, this step is going to be regulating the repetition spring. Okay, so um, what happens is uh, when the hammer is played, or the note is played, the hammer goes up and strikes the string and catches, um, but the speed that you're able to repeat it at is uh, greatly um, or largely um, dependent on the strength of the repetition spring. Okay, so over here we have the whippin. Okay, this whole piece right here is the whippin of the of the piano, and uh, here we've got the repetition lever, which is this piece right here, um, and then right here is the repetition spring. Okay, now different uh, actions have different uh, types of springs. This type is going to be found on Yamahas. Uh, Steinways, Mason Hamlin, and a lot of other models. Um, I've got another one right here. This is a Renner. Um, oh, let me turn it around so it's going the same direction. This is a Renner Whippin, and uh, this one has a different type. Okay, so as you can see, it doesn't. This one's called a butterfly spring right here, um, where it's got actually two springs, um, but it's the one on the top that's the repetition lever spring. But this one. Um, has the repetition lever spring on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that wire there running across the bottom there and then it hooks into the this cord on the back of the jack. Okay, so that's your repetition lever on a, on a um, this is a, again a Renner and I think on the Kawai they're the same way. Kawai weapons are this way as well. Uh, so you might, And you might see some others as well that are like that too. Um, the, the way you adjust the repetition spring is different on these two different types. But basically, what, what the way you check to see if it needs to be adjusted is um, there should be some rise in the hammer after um, it goes into check. And if you let the hammer, or I'm sorry, if you let the key up a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to push the key uh, so the hammer goes into check. Now, very slowly, I'm going to... Um, release or raise the key and you're going to see well the hammer should go up okay and it didn't so that means my repetition lever spring is not strong enough okay now on this um, on this type of a whippin the uh, way to adjust it is if you want to um, if you want to make the string str str spring stronger there's a screw on the back right here, okay, and you're going to turn that, you're going to turn it clockwise to make it stronger or counterclockwise to make it weaker, okay, and what that does is that strengthens this, this spring so that it, um, it's it got more tension on the uh, the repetition lever. <coughs> Excuse me, so um, so that's how you're going to do it. On this one, this, one, this one's a little bit harder, again, again this is uh, Steinway and Yamaha and that type, and if you this one, this is a spring hook tool. Okay, we sell these in our online store. If, if you need one or want to have one, um, it's a helpful tool for doing this. Is you can you can reach down between the um, the two uh, whippins and push down on the on the top, so you can see that the top of that spring is is not, it's not actually attached to the repetition lever. It's just got a hook or the top of that spring that pushes up on that repetition lever, okay? And the amount of pressure that it puts on that push, that uh, that repetition lever is dependent on how far it's stretched up or down, okay? So because this is too weak, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take and pull up on that repetition lever just slightly and just lift it a little bit to stretch it up a little bit okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it back down let's see here there we go and put it back under the repetition spring let's see what kind of a difference that made sometimes it takes a little bit sometimes it takes a little bit more than you think oh there we go okay so it didn't take much okay so I'm going to put it back in check and I'm going to gradually lift the key okay so you can see that the hammer lifts as I lift the key slightly, okay. Now, if that if that hammer lifts too quickly, that means the the repetition lever, re, the repetition spring is too strong. 
Okay, and you're going to do the opposite thing when you, when the um, repetition lever is too strong. You're going to pull it out of its slot there in the repetition lever, and you're going to push down to try to stretch that spring so it's not putting as much up pressure on the repetition lever. Okay, I'm not going to stretch it down because we seem to have it pretty good as it is. Okay, so it should should rise definitely and gradually. Um, just about like that, okay? If it goes doom and it goes up too fast, then you're gonna, they're going to have trouble uh, with control on soft playing because you're you've got too much pressure there from the spring on the repetition levers. So, um, and then you want to go back, you want to go through the whole piano and make it so it's consistent uh, that the string the spring strength is consistent from one note to a, to the to the other. Uh, also, all the, the uh, notes are consistent from one to the other. So, again, we've got uh, the two different types of adjustment. The screw type is much easier, but um, unfortunately, for at least from my experience, I find that's not as common as, as the butterfly spring um, uh, type. So, you get, you get used to doing this. Um, so, again, it's a little bit harder to control. If you got a screw, it's much easier to make small, fine adjustments and control how much... Um, adjustment you're making. But um, yeah, that's so this is the step, uh, one of, again, one of the steps that you're going to make in the um, regulation process of a grand piano action. I've got uh, quite a few other videos for you in, on our website and our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to make sure you're updated for any new videos that we make. Our uh, website it can be found at howardpianoindustries.com. And please let us know if you have any questions.